<laughs> hey, everybody. We're going to take this to the old school, and we're going to take this to old school courtesy of VintageBreaks.com. It's a little venture thing, a little more sistery type action we've got going on with the Rip City cards. The nasty break, the Jaspies, Happy Land, and the Ripping Wax as a whole. Guy Layton, good dude. Legitimately like him. He looks like, uh, no, I can't think of that guy's name. Um, Vince Vaughn. Looks like Vince Vaughn. Uh, he may be as like a double for him, you know, during the days. I don't know. So, I mean, we've got 82 Fleer Baseball. Orioles are going to be the uh, giant chase in this because it is sealed, because it is in its pristine condition. Um, you got a better, better than not chance of uh, pulling clean Cal Ripken Jr. autographs. And, as I understand, there are uh, a bunch of errors in this thing that uh, actually sell for some, like, pretty serious money. Some guy that I, I've personally never heard of. All right, I did do the uh, due, gel, due diligence of uh, getting the proper list of teams because there was only 26, uh, 26 teams in 1982. So, let's roll some dice. Ooh, almost dropped it, but we got a nine. Yep. Uh, you know, Secret Ball, Rockies, yours, done. I don't even care. Don't even ask. Don't even ask me anybody. I'm giving. I'm giving him the Rockies. You know what? You want the Diamondbacks too? Diamondbacks, yours. Marlins. I'm gonna keep the Marlins, but you can have the Rays. I'm that kind of nice. Well, Expos technically, Expos technically Nationals. So I mean, I I can almost sort of give you the Nationals, sort of kind of. Well, I mean, let's see what we got. Nine is the number. Yeah, all right. Nationals, are they yours? Done. Teams for everybody! Nine times, Braves on top, Royals on bottom. I mean, just, we might as well locate it now. 24 is the uh, chase spot there. 24. Four. And here's folks. 26. 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 times. Get it on top, get it on bottom. There's a couple of others. Like he was. The guy was straight, like, at was honestly, like, telling me, like, what all the, uh, what all the particularly hot players are in this. There's, there's, like, seven or eight that are good, good, worthwhile cards. Uh, what are you talking about, Seeker Raw? What are you talking about? You, he he does have the Nats. <laughs> so 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 foolish. All right, I'm not, I don't even care. All right, we got Dodgers uh, Expos for Monty Reds. Tigers. Okay. Now, according to the according to this dude, since we may like actually be playing with some of this in the in the future, there's some company called the Baseball Card Exchange that is like the uh, the people that like verify that the box is like untouched or something. Like this is. It's like, I mean, I don't know, like a PSA or BGS, like, certification service for old stuff. 
I actually saw somebody had an empty box on sale on the eBay that, that they sold it. I actually sold it. So I'll, I'll be gentle in case anybody wants Wants in wants to get get in on it later. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I mean, I seriously do. The the Layton guy was was pretty cool. Was nice. Look, they're like in cellophane. It's value packs. They're in cellophane. All of them look in uh, surprisingly good shape. Uh, I will, Monty. I will. There's no gum, I don't think. No gum in Fleer. All right, now let's see what's going to be the safest way to open these without any trouble. Because I mean, we we'll probably sell these, uh, sell these later too. Well, I just tore that one. It's it's a little brittle, the plastic. I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's a little brittle. But let's try and be. Oh, I just I'll split them up and send them uh, send them to everybody. Did they mark these as? They didn't mark these as rookie cards, did they? So it's I'm just gonna have to figure out. Ugh, like I don't even I don't even honestly don't even know what he charged me for it. 120 bucks or something like something I don't know. I mean Gary Carter he has a card it is obviously not a uh, not a rookie card but Ken Brett Ben Ogilvy Leon Durham I had actually had to listen errors up some Baltimore Orioles it's a sticker even a sticker for the Orioles and a sticker for the A's Chet Lemon I actually remember that guy anybody remember this John Walkenfuss okay, I don't remember him either I'm just talking talking crap Bobby Bonds Dang. Sixto Lescano. They, you know, I thought that it was only now that, that they had, like, really the, like, the foolishly weird names. But no. Well, I mean, match that would be for the owner of the Orioles and the A's to, to decide that. I feel almost like pulling this thing around and doing this. Doing this like old schoolish style. Let's, uh... Yeah, I mean the thing is like I don't I don't know if the cards are like which ones are the fancy ones, which ones are not. I don't want you to think I'm like sliding by like a George Brett thing or a, you know, sliding by some fancy card that you may or may not enjoy. So we'll just kind of go through it together. Yes, this is one of my cats. Sitting upon the uh, other one's face. Lovely. All right, so let's just. I mean, really, the Art Howe, while he was actually playing, that's crazy. Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy, not a rookie card. Why couldn't they have uh, listed them as such? I, lo I love my cats, they're like, like my children's. Are a little sticky. All right, more Orioles stickers, Kansas City Royals stickers. That's kind of fancy. And 
and I mean seriously, somebody, whoever gets your stuff, you're, you're gonna have to check them for for the error variations because there are a bunch in this uh, in this particular set. The Carlton Fisk, I want to say, was a uh, was a card of interest. I feel like the that guy told me. He was on like some website. You have to have a like a login for it, and I do not remember what it was now. But uh, would like they just, like give you like the PSA prices on various cards. Paul Molitor, how long had he been playing? He'd been playing a couple, couple, four, five years. Wait. This guy. This guy. Hang on. I remember the name. He has three, like, particularly... Nope, not. They have all, and they have his height listed as five one in uh, in some of them. So I know he is one. Well, I mean, it's, I don't think it's gonna be like ten thousand dollars, but it's you know, it's again graded. They are worth some like significant dollars, and I mean, the best way to pull a clean gradable card is out of a unopened pack of cars that have been sitting in their in their hidey hole for a uh, floor forever it is a nice little Johnny bench yeah he'd been playing for a while he'd been playing playing for a, a couple a couple quick minutes and I don't drink anymore Kate AC so that's gonna be difficult I will uh, I will be sending out all of the goodness to people. Who else? Who are the other ones? Dave Frost, Jesse Jefferson, Fernando Valenzuela has got uh, got some errors, but as I was reading, like most people think that they were uh, done on purpose. More stickers, Braves, Red Sox put together a. Andy, I'm probably gonna ship it all, just cause why? Why the hell not? Let's put some Kirk Gibson. Put them sorters and uh, Packers to to some use. Tito Landrum. They got some excellent names in this stuff too. Excellent names. We are really looking for the. Looking for the Cal Ripken. That's where the hotness is. Steve Garvey, Reggie Jackson, Mike Schmidt. Looking young, I must say. Ooh, different logo brace. That's when it was still not. Uh, you know, before all, before PC hit the world. Who doesn't mark something as rookie cards though? And these really, this is this is before before Prism technology, obviously. I mean, this is before refractor technology even. Alan Ashby, I remember him. Do you not remember Scott Sanderson? Getting a lot of Larry Christensen's. Pi Ooh, old school pirates, too. Checklist. I will random the checklist off to uh, somebody. Or no, it's the checklist for the team, so never mind. More Chet Lemon. I 
they short printed the Julio Cruz. It's possible. It's possible. Dan Cuisenberry. Obvious. Big money card. Giants, Red Sox, stickers. Come on. Just give me like... I mean, you got to give me at least one. Joe Morgan, while he was still playing. I mean, there were only 660 cards in this set. So, I mean, it, the, whole, the entire set is uh, kind of short printed. I mean, look at this. Lynn Sakata. Batting 203. That is not solid. That is not solid. Dave Rigetti. I didn't even like the Yankees. The dynamic duo of Bench and Seaver while they were still playing. Yeah, Ripken. It's uh, Cal Ripken Jr.'s uh, rookie year. And then the 83, you've got uh, Wade Boggs and Tony Gwynn that are the that are the hotness. No way. Nolan Ryan. It's the first one of those we've seen. He'd only been playing like 15 years by this by this time. Wow, that is a that's an old logo. We're about halfway through. I should be, match. I should be. I should have a, a glass of bourbon or some kind of Tennessee whiskey, and I should be smoking a cigarette with a lava lamp uh, on Willie Stargell. He's number one. Willie Stargell believes that he is number one. Phillies and Expos. Eddie Murray play and we are so far working the one Mike Schmidt per Harold Baines even per pack. Well that's just not nice. I would like to touch a actual Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, though. To be the first one to caress it and rub it upon my loins. That would be nice. Double Twins action, some giant stuff. Ricky Henderson. He's... I know he's collectible in one of these. I don't know if it's this one. Or the 83. I know that guy was telling me it was one of the two. Ozzy Smith. So just for the sake of who knows. No, but I don't know if you can if you can look it up somewhere like there I mean the guy was telling me there's a, a handful of people in here that do get some goodness there's Red Sox oh oh the centering is doo-doo oh Cal Ripken, why? Why? 
I mean, the centering is perfect. We'll just turn that off on the bottom. It is a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. Only one year listed. Out of a original pack. All right, this is always a little problematic. Whatever. It's still a Ripken. It's a Ripken Jr. rookie card. And we got some more packs still. We got some chance. Right. Well, no, I mean, look at that Lewis Salazar. I mean, if anything, corners are excellent. Except for that, I mean, very, very minor centering issue. Everything else looks near perfect. And that, and that is minor. I mean, that is minor. Well, match, I mean, this is 1982. I don't know if they even had computers in 1982. I don't think they took these. Uh, these look like Polaroid pictures. Polaroid pictures. Orioles, Royals. I mean, you might be able to sell one of those old school Royal stickers to uh, Big Heads for like 25, 45 cents. George Brett. How many years had he been playing? A lot. Come on, Cal Ripken Jr. You can get me what I want. You can get me what I desire. And that is a perfectly centered, perfect version of you. Dusty Baker, goodness gracious. And again, I think that, I mean, that Vintage Breaks guy, the Layton, is going to be doing like some cool stuff like this. You know, like he's been doing like, like BGS or PSA graded like actual packs of like some very old hotness, and has pulled some pretty sweet cards out. A John Matlack, but it was turned around. Oh my God, that is probably very fancy. Uh, I know he did not. I mean, I think they're still working on it. It's still, uh, still mar marinating. It's not an easy thing to, not an easy thing to sell. Mike Sosha? Or no, that's not, that's not that one. Pirates Dodgers. Rance Malinikis. I can't even can't even say such names. Can't even say them. No, they're gonna break it. Eventually they're gonna break it. I mean at some point Bates will probably work on some work on some of the spots and like they're gonna get him like going a little more a little bit more that he's actually gonna do like he's gonna do like live you know on breakers like three three days a week or something they're just like getting it getting it all set up like I think he like has already like ordered a computer to be able to do it like the as as fancy as well as I am Bates like showed him how to do all the stuff in the store. And I mean, listen, if you like anything that has to do with vintage, yeah, but, uh, yeah, Link, uh, like 14 boxes so far. You got to put together 
What do you think it costs to get an entire PSA graded 1952 set together? I mean, it, it by itself is not easy. Um, Link, we've pulled two one ones already: a uh, Andy Pettit and a was it John Smoltz? Lee Smith, dude, look how thin he used to be. That is that is a hairdo, if I've ever seen one. I will still, I will still say it. The archives is mostly for collectors. Lee Smith potential error on the back. Upside down Cubs logo. All right, that's potential. No, oh, right side up right side up yeah I mean I have there is a list I just can't I don't know enough I can't remember the names enough to do I remember only the one guy that he said was so was so fancy that Al have Brarkski that was hard to hard to find I said I'm I'll make sorting, packing, and shipping go through all of it. Pete and repeat. All right, we have got four, six, six more. Look at that. Tommy John. You know why you know why that is fancy? Tom Boggs. Close. Gary Templeton. I guess they still were unable to get all of the cards right side up. Is Val yeah, Valenzuela's got got an error too. But what is it? Where is it? It's the Fernando Valenzuela Strikeout King. I don't see the error that they're referring to. It says like the Fernando Valenzuela. 1981 NL Strikeout King. The error says Led He National, and the correct version says Led The National. Unless there's two versions of that. What's the card number? 636. Yep, that's the one. Hang on. I'll click on this bitch and see. Oh, led the national. I got it. Not an error. Boo for the non error cards. Man, there are some. Lou. Lou Pinella with a bat in his hand. Who even knew that he played baseball? 
I thought he was just born a manager. All right, four more. We close. You can do one more. Andre Dawson. How long have you been playing Andre Dawson? Man, a surprising number of years. Giants and Brewers. Wait a minute. Is that, is this Fergie Jenkins? And what if, like, it says Ferguson Jenkins, but uh, I'm thinking that, and why can't you just, Oh, has she played AC? Tug McCraw? Come on, give me one more, give me one more. Where I do not know, I do not remember what that guy said about one of the Ricky Henderson cards. Nobody knows everything, anything about 1982 Fleer. Gaylord Pace, just chilling out. Last, last chance, last chance. Listen, until there's, uh, until all of the, uh, they shorted us an auto. They shorted an auto, which is, I, mean, I guess we're going to have to send it back to, uh, send it back to Fleer. Is Fleer still in business? I think the uh, the group's gonna enjoy the sorting of uh, the sorting of this. Yeah, and that's the other thing. I did not see one refractor, not a single prism. Uh, I have not seen any package this. Although at the same time, I don't know the last time that Mario checked the mail, since he's the only one that has a mail key, but I will leave him a note to check check such things. It's still, I mean, I think it is still cool that it is a, a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. I know, but you don't need a computer to chromium things. 
All right, Katie. See, I will. Uh, I will look for that, and I will talk to Gelf tomorrow to see what uh, what he's figured out about that. All right. Let's. This is getting weird. Oops. Damn it! I forget that I'm I'm in the wrong in the wrong thing. Okay, Lee, thanks. Uh, 20 boxes, Link, 20 boxes. $50 a box I mean, is basically what it boils down to. Guaranteed auto, guaranteed encased auto. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, Monty. I mean, Gelf last year was able to pull a little bit of weight around and manage to get some fulfilled. I don't know if he's, like, pissed off anybody this year that he will or will not be able to do such a thing, but... Talk to him tomorrow about it. Okay. 